think I've come across a pretty exciting flint and steel tender. I've made slow match or nitrated tender several times in the past. Here's some I made up about a month ago. The way I make it is I take cotton denim squares like this and soak them in a dilute solution of potassium nitrate. Well, cotton all by itself will burn, but it doesn't like to stay lit and it doesn't smolder very well. But when you mix in some potassium nitrate, it'll smolder and it'll smolder hot. It's good for taking flint and steel sparks. It'll course ignite with a ferro rod and I've even used it for some solar ignition. Well, the good news is potassium nitrate's not hard to find. You can find it at your local hardware store in the form of stump remover. This is a spectricide version. I think I paid less than $10 for this bottle. Well, recently, in my random YouTube feed, I've been getting some videos from other fire makers who've been mixing potassium nitrate with cattail down. Well, it's mid-May here in southern Ohio, and all of last year's cattails are in full fluff. So on a hike recently, I brought several of these home with me, and I decided to mix some cattail fluff, or cattail down, with some uh, potassium nitrate and just see what I could do with it. Let me show you what I've got mixed up so far. Here I've got just a 16 ounce red Solo cup and inside I've got the fluff from two cattails and I added maybe two-thirds full of the hottest water I could get out of my indoor tap and to that I added two heaping teaspoons of potassium nitrate I didn't measure anything, I just kind of eyeballed it. It's the same procedure I use for making uh, nitrated tinder with my cotton denim squares. I started all together to try to break up the, the cattail fluff as best I could. And I'm gonna let this soak for a couple hours while I go do some other chores around the house. After I made that mixture of cattail fluff and potassium nitrate, I had another idea. I wondered what would happen if I did the same thing, but instead of adding potassium nitrate, I added some ashes. Well, I have tried to mix ashes and cattail down in the past, but it didn't work very well for me. I was working with dry materials and it all just sort of fell apart. I decided what I would do is try to wet the mixture and see what would happen. This is what I've got so far. Just another red Solo cup. And inside I've got the fluff from two cattails mixed in with two heaping teaspoons of sifted ashes from my backyard fire pit. Started up really good to break up the fibers. And I'm gonna let that sit and soak for a little while. Here's the ashes that I was using. I saved this in a plastic container. These are just collected from my backyard fire pit. I sift it through this old strainer, the handle broke off. We were gonna throw it away and I saved it for just this purpose. Helps me sift out the unburnt wood and the bigger charcoal particles and such. Gives me some nice clean ashes to work with when I'm working with ashed tinder. So anyhow, we're gonna let that soak for a little while while I go do some chores around the house. And after it's soaked, we're gonna pour off the liquid and set everything out to dry. And we'll go from there. Here are the final products. I let the ashed and nitrated cattail down mixture sit and soak for a couple of hours. Then I poured off the liquid, put the mixtures into their own separate tin pans and left them to dry for a couple of days. On the right hand side is the cattail down that I mixed with ash and on the left hand side is the nitrated. This is the nitrated cattail down. It takes a spark really fast, it burns really hot, and I've puts off a, <laughs> a thick cloud of black smoke. I laid it down into a larger pile of this tinder just to show you how, how energetically it burns. 
You might want to use this stuff by putting it directly into your tender bundle. You could even put it directly down in the fire lay if you want. But nevertheless, nitrated cattail down is the real deal. It burns hot, it burns fast. This is some of the ashed cattail down. It's a little better behaved, but it's harder to light in my opinion. in the face. Like I said, that was the ashed cattail down. It doesn't burn quite as energetically as the nitrated down, but it's a little bit harder to light in my opinion. It does work though, so we have two different ways of treating cattail down to make nice flint and steel tender. That's all I got for you for this one. Thanks for watching folks. Hope I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.